everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to you. So my lovelies are going to be reading for the lovely star sign of Pisces. So Pisces, this week we're not doing any poetic words. We're actually going to link with spirit. They're not going to resonate with everybody, but as we go into the reading, when I pull out the spiritual card um, from spirit, then we'll see if we can connect with anybody and pass messages on. So with that said and done, let's have a look at your overall energies this week. What have we got for Pisces, please? Spirit. Be ready to come in for any messages for Pisces. I uh, I'm grateful for anybody who wants to pass messages on. And we've got two cards coming out. Actually, we've got four cards coming out. So I'm going to read what they've said. We've got the Ten of Cups. Okay, just feeling happy, contented kind of energy. We have the Star saying that. A wish is about to be coming in for you. And this is what you're you're wishing on an outcome of something. Okay. A wish wishing on a choice that has been made or will be made, as in have I made the right choice on a certain situation? And the four of pentacles is about guarding your finances, okay, protecting your family unit and wishing about a decision that has been made it could be a financial decision that you've made have i done the right thing in uh, taking out this mortgage have i done the right thing in taking out this loan it's about protecting a family unit your own worldly space so to speak that is on your mind this week so let's have a look what your inner spirit is feeling what else have we got for pisces it's also about um making sure protection is in place some of you could be making wills okay you might be thinking i need to make a will because it, you could be suffering with health issues and you're thinking to yourself now then i've got choices to make i feel you know time may be running out for you or somebody around you and it's like i think it's you know i need to get your affairs in order it's in that mindset for some reason for some of you and touch the sky okay this is your inner spirit and I feel like you've got your head in the clouds at the moment, some of you, okay, it's saying that you've got your head in the clouds and I feel spirit is saying to you, don't, don't think the worst. I feel like there's something about a situation around you where some of my Pisces are thinking of the worst outcome and it's saying don't do that. There's a lifeline here that spirit is sending down to you and it's saying, don't think on the negative. Start to think on the positive. And the universe is saying a message in a bottle is going to be key this week. There's going to be something, a message comes through. Okay. Um, it could be a message to do with your health. It could be an outpatient appointment. It could be a scan result. It could be anything like that. But it's, it's coming from a reputable source, as in somebody high up, a consultant, um, a job offer it's something like that where a message is going to give an outcome of what you do next okay so let's have a look what spirit want to bring in for you then what else have we got for pisces what else do they need to hear what else do they need to see stand your ground standing your ground is an empowering confidence building action to take from time to time now is the moment when you need to stand your ground you know you can do it and you know that by doing so you will be the victor there's something here that spirit is saying to you don't take no for an answer okay i'm getting spirit coming in now and they're saying there's somebody because it's green it's to do with health there's somebody it, there's somebody in spirit okay i'm getting a female coming in around a male who is going for treatments or scans at the moment and they're saying don't take what they are saying for granted okay stand your ground on something and if they tell you that this needs doing it's like saying no you can say no to them okay it's somebody who i feel's passed on a female who passed away i feel with cancer who is coming in close to a male here on the earth plane, okay? I've got the initial S for the name of the male here on the earth plane and
this person would have only been in their 40s when they passed with cancer. She's saying, I didn't fight it enough. I gave up too easily. She has blonde hair, this lady does. And it was a love-hate relationship between these two. But she always stood by this person thick and thin. There's a nickname here of Dizzy. This person would have said, you're really dizzy you are. Okay, dizzy, dizzy. Um, she wants to bring the nickname in more so than her first name. Okay, so yeah, I've got that female coming in. Thank you for that. Who else have you got coming in for Pisces, please? I've got a James coming in now. Okay, James. Who would you want to connect with, please? His name is James, but obviously they called him Jim. And Jim would have passed with a heart condition. He's saying towards his later part of life. He would have been early 70s when he passed. And he's talking about the ranch. So I'm feeling this is obviously somebody abroad. Don't sell the ranch. Something about don't sell the ranch. Don't sell the property. Okay. It's somebody who's struggling with a business who would have... Um, had like a farm, like I'm going with a farmer here and it's about selling beef stock, saying he's got to take down the herd because they can't afford and it's something about selling cows or it's something to do with farming. A farm is in trouble, the ranch is in trouble. Okay, and he's saying he can feel the stress that is being built up around the family unit at this moment in time. We're saying a lifeline will come through, a silver lining will come through. We're saying somebody from outside will want to invest. Don't take it the wrong way, okay? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Give them the benefit of the doubt he's saying. Thank you for that. So let's have a look what your fairy realm messages say then this week. And we have Magical Gateway. It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown, yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. Trust to venture into the unknown. This could be coming in for that person regarding the farm or the ranch or wherever that may be that's struggling at the moment, where I feel that there is going to be a... Um, a new gateway opening there, a new offer coming in. But there's a new chapter coming in anyway for Pisces here. Take a risk, take a gamble on something. Let's have a look at your energies for the end of the week. It's also saying you've got the key here to open up and unlock the doorway of an issue that you are dealing with. And we've got mountain. Light at the end of the tunnel, guys. There's light at the end of this tunnel for you. So stick to your guns this week, okay? So, my lovely Pisces, thank you for listening and tuning in this week. I sound like a radio station then, didn't I? Thanks for tuning in, okay? Any likes, comments, subscribes, guys, keeps my channel growing. So until next time, you take care of yourself. Bye then.